Everybody, it's vaping cookie let me exhale there and I am here with a beginner's review of the Vamo so first let me take my little crocheted sleeve off I have really greasy hands during the day I do massage therapy and so I always just slide this and it looks totally gross onto my Vamo but here it is I apologize first of all that it has a skin on it I have been meaning to shoot this video forever and so I just broke down and put the vapor skins little sticker type thing on it I really like that it's been great hasn't affected the performance but usually this is stainless steel I am vaping with a fake Vivi Vi, it's not a vision but a Vivi Nova and then I've just got my own little drip tip on there um, in here tonight is Moo Juice one of my favorite juices from Mount Baker Vapor just in case you're wondering so okay so I'm gonna get into the review I've got it in its regular you know long form here and I like this I prefer to use it in the short mode I think I'll go ahead and show you that because I'll probably just put it like that for the rest of the review so it won't be so wonky. So this is the 18650 battery that it came with. I ordered mine from Fast Tech and yeah it's funny that they're called Fast Tech because you know it wasn't fast at all. It took almost three weeks to get to me here in Florida and you know it's coming from China. I ordered it from them because I knew it would be a lot cheaper. I think it was $51 and some change and this is the Vivi Nova V2, so version 2, and I got it as the Vivi Vamo. So it came with a couple of um, Vivi Nova style tanks, again, not real tanks, and in fact they don't even screw on. So I wouldn't suggest if you're going to order from Fast Tech that you get it with the little kit. It's not not even worth it. Just order the um, Vamo V2 and then get the um, batteries with it. These are Panasonic um, AMR, no, they're not AMR, Panasonic batteries, but they are safety. So for beginners, it's just the way to go. Do you have to order it from Fast Tech? Absolutely not. That's just what I did. So I've just installed the battery and I need to click it five times to get it on. Sometime, sometimes it takes more than five, so you want to do five, six, I just do it until it comes on. And then I go ahead and hold down this left button here, but I'm pretty sure I could do the other one. In fact, let's try it. Nope, nothing happened. So that right, I just turned it off. What a noob. See, so dumb, even a beginner can use it. So now it's on again. I guess I already did that. Okay, so now I'm going to hold down the left and see. Yep, you can hold down either the left or the right button and it will tell you your ohms. So our ohms on this one are 2.6. And so what I generally do is I use it in variable voltage mode and I just go up to 2 plus whatever the ohms was. So that was 2, was it 2.4? Uh, let's check it again since I'm talking. Nope, 2.6. So you can start at about 4.6 and then you can adjust up or down. That's what I do and that's been working really, really well for me. I haven't even gotten into variable wattage because the variable voltage has been just great. So go ahead and take a vape. Okay, so this is it in its short mode and I have an extra battery here. I ordered these from Mount Baker Vapor. These are the 18350 batteries. So you take off one of the extensions here, the, the only other one. Take this off, put your little blue battery in, and then you're ready to go. This battery is not going to last a lot of time. I only get maybe two, three hours of vape time, but it's just so much more hand friendly and of course friendly for this review. Okay, so another vape. I really, really love my Vamo. Now, I came 
I don't have the largest vaping history. I started out with a traditional Ego style battery, moved up to the Ego Twist, so that had, um, I think that was variable voltage, and then I have variable voltage or variable wattage. So this is a starter mod for me. I really, really am enjoying it as a starter mod. First of all, there aren't a whole lot of screens. I mean, it's really just click it on, check ohms, adjust voltage, and you're set. You go. And then I can adjust up or down. It's really, really good for that. The only problem that I've had with the Vamo since I had it, um, about a week in, I, I am a flavor you know, changer. And so I would take these off. You can tell, see this one's kind of wonky because it's a fake one. And I was trying out different, you know, styles. I tried out my Kanger Pro Tank on it. I've got a lot of CE4s, CE5s. Um, I have an iClear 30, these little um, Vivi Nova type things. So I'm, I'm switching out flavor after flavor after flavor. And then all of a sudden I start screwing on the CE4s and they won't work. Some of my um, clear misers would work, my tanks wouldn't, it, it just got really, really weird, and I freaked out thinking, oh my gosh, there goes the Vamo. That's $50 flushed down the toilet, and I got really, really upset, and I thought, okay, I've got to contact Fast Tech, are they going to even refund it, because I don't know, you know, if they're really good about that, but what it was, I'm going to show you, I'm going to have a vape. Sorry about that. Okay, so now that I've had that vape, I'm just going to unscrew it here. And then I want to just show you what the inside of this looks like. I did not know this at the time. Okay, can you see that center pin in there? The part that is... I'm sure this is dirty and I apologize. Can you see that center pin in there? If that gets flush with the rubber little ring around it, it's not going to work. So I had no idea about that. Luckily I found it in a forum. Thank you for whoever mentioned that. And so what I do is I just get a little toothpick if I have one on me or I even use a teeny tiny screwdriver and I just kind of push here, turn it over, push there, and I just kind of work that center pin up to where things will screw back onto it. That's something really really important to know. For some people that's just going to be a turn off but for me at this price point at a $50 price point at something that is so easy to use I mean if I can do it anybody can use it it's just what works for me I am really really happy with it do I want to change now and go up to a Proveri I don't know I mean I, I I don't see that I need one right now. I'm not looking at getting into rebuildables or mechanical mods or anything like that. That's all really, I hate to admit it, but really over my head, not something that I'm looking to do. I have enough tanks and different things that I like to vape, so I'm not feeling, you know, unsatisfied. I get hits that are fulfilling to me still. Maybe if I got to a place where I felt like I needed mechanicals or rebuildables, then I would look into getting something like the Proveri. But for right now, I'm really, really happy with the Vamo. I'm, I'm happy with it. I, I can't suggest it enough if you're, look, I can't even screw this thing on because I'm talking to you. <laughs> but anyway, if you're looking at making that first leap into something, you don't want to spend a ton of money and you don't want to deal with something that has a really crazy menu system. I've got the CE4 on here to show you. So again, just hold down the button. It's 1.7 ohms, so I'm going to put it down to 3.7 and go. There. So yeah, I got that weird you know, playing with it, fooling with it type of thing with the center pin going on there. I'll probably go in, make sure there's no juice in there, and then check the center pin. But if you can deal with that, this is a really, really good starter mod. You can't beat it for the price point. The menu system couldn't get any easier. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to mention, I don't know if you could see that there, but the N01 and N02 settings. When I opened this up out of the box, 
put the battery in and clicked it on, it was in NO2, which is RMS mode. That's what you want. You want it at RMS mode. I'm not going to go into a huge ton of detail, but I will go ahead and link Grim Green's video, and I think I'll also do Phil's P. Busardos because they're just awesome and much more technically minded than I am, much more experienced. But you want to make sure that this is in NO2 mode. So if you want to check that, just hold down that right button. It's going to check ohms, just keep holding it. And then after about 10 seconds, it's going to switch between NO1 and NO2. So I've got it back in NO2 mode. That's right where I want to be. That's RMS mode and you're good to go. So again, check ohms. Oh, I'm in variable wattage. So I want to flick back to variable voltage, which I'm comfortable with. Hold both of the buttons down. Back to voltage. Go back up where I was at 3.7 and I'm good to go. It's it's so simple. It is truly, truly simple. It's something that you can take out of the box, watch a video about it, and feel reasonably comfortable. You've got protection on there for your batteries. This thing will short out and not allow you to vape it if there's something wrong going on with your battery setup. You're good to go. It's something that I feel comfortable using, comfortable recommending to newbies out there. If you're looking to get into some kind of mod, I highly suggest the Vamo. I know that there are other beginner mods out there. I have not tried a ton of them. Maybe it's something that I'm going to do in the future, but right now I'm really happy. I'm really happy with my Vamo. I, I really don't use my Ego batteries anymore. I use my Ego Twist batteries when I'm at work. I put them into my pocket, but those are really the only things I use. And if I have my choice, I'm always reaching for my Vamo. Again, as far as battery life, I get about two to three hours of heavy vape time off of this battery setup. And then when I switch back into regular mode, I just unscrew this, take out that battery, take this battery this way, so negative side down, screw back on the extra piece here. It's cool how the sticker always lines up where it's supposed to. I don't know why I think that's so cool. And then screw this bottom piece on. Got it back to its normal mode. One, two, three, four, five. On. And then you will have to reset your voltage. So 1.4 it's reading now. I still know it was 1.7. 3.7 volts was fine. So add your two. Outstanding vape every single time. Outstanding. It's just a really, really good beginner mod. If you have any questions for me, I know a lot of that can get confusing and I'm kind of rambly anyway. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you as best I can. If there's something that I don't know, there are plenty of things that I don't know. I will be happy to refer you to another video or maybe to the forum, something like that. I'll do my very best to help. I hope you guys are having a really great day. This is Vaping Cookie. Have a great day or night. Bye.